Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters, and in today's video we are looking at the FX Crown Mark II Compact. Now this is the third video in our series in collaboration with Crackshot in News and Abbott where we're looking at some of the pre-owned guns that they have for sale. And this is going to be an overview demonstration of this exact gun. Now the only thing that you won't be guessing if you buy this gun is the scope. That's my personal Hawk Air Max scope that I attached because I really like this scope. So the gun will come with everything. It doesn't come with the rest. That's mine. But they're available from Crack Shots, as is any scope that you may ever need. So you just get the, the gun itself with the moderator that's included, the hard carry case, the magazine, and the fill probe adapter. So that's what you get if you buy this gun, as well as a six month warranty from Crackshot themselves, all right? So let me talk to you about some of the things that I think are amazing about this gun, all right? So the first thing that I think is unbelievable is the capacity of the magazine. You can get 22 177 pellets in here. That's the biggest magazine I've ever used and it's really nice to have that much ammo in a magazine, okay? It's fantastic. Second thing I want to talk to you about is the fact that you have a 480cc air cylinder. This is a carbon fiber bottle and that gives you an outrageous shot count. I'll be honest with you, in the time that I've been using this gun, I filled it up once and I'm still shooting well over 300 pellets later, okay? So the shot count that you can get from this is outrageous, it's massive. The gun itself is extremely well built, all right? It feels very, very solid when you're holding it, either on a bench like I do or a rest, or when you're stood up shooting, all right? It's adjustable. I haven't adjusted it, it's just been left in high, so maximum power. This is a sub 12 foot pounder gun, so it's not an FAC, but you will have some adjustability if you were using it, for example, in a farm or in a building, you could reduce the power if you wanted. But there are some more things that I just want to talk about before we start looking at some data. The actual cocking mechanism of this gun is extremely smooth. All right. If I can do it on camera here, there's a nice feel to it and the gun is very quiet. Listen to this. Okay. There's more noise um, in this room because it's an enclosed room, so it reverberates around. But when you're outside, it's extremely quiet. I have put maybe the best part of 1,000 pellets through this, and there have been absolutely no problems at all, okay? At different distances and using different varieties of pellet. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to show at the side here me doing a test. So I used four varieties of JSB, the RS, the um, Express, the Exact, and the Heavy. And I wanted to see how they would group at 30 meters. So what I did was I put five of each pellet in the magazine, giving me 20. My shot five, shot five, shot five, and shot five to see what, would, what pellet would group the best. And Hopefully you will agree with me that it is actually the heavies the group the best. So what I thought we would do is now we know that it can group within a 5p piece apart from the flyer at 30 meters. Let's take it out to 40 meters and see how it groups using maybe 12 pellets. Let's have a look at that now.
so you might be able to tell that it's actually a very windy day here and you can't not shoot because it's windy you have to still go out but what i thought i would do is let's look at the data at 50 meters okay so in this clip the camera angle is going to change because it was so windy that the camera is actually falling around with the tripod outside right so what you're going to see now is a slightly different kind of side on it got my good side view and then you can see what this gun groups like using the JSB heavies at 50 meters. Let's look at that data now. Okay, so we're now at out, oops, excuse me, we're now out at 50 meters. So please excuse the fact that the camera angles had to change. Um, it's very windy and I want to make this as good as possible. So you can see that I have two targets down there and the reason I've got two is that I'm going to need to use some some more holdover to get it so the first one is going to be just a test for holdover and I'm going to go to the last mill dot of the gun and let's see if this works or not okay so it's a little bit below let's try that again Little bit below. Let's try again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my adjustment and I'm going to try and do the rest of the magazine. Out at 50 meters, here we go. It's very windy. And that's the magazine. I can't really see it from here very well, so let's go down closer and see what the grouping is like at 50 meters. So I'm exceptionally pleased with that. All right, I'm not an expert shooter by any means. I'm just a very keen amateur. I love shooting, I love guns, and I love making these videos, okay? So the chances are you're gonna be able to do far better than me in two contexts in two respects you may be a better shooter if you are fantastic but i would imagine that you might be able to use the gun in more favorable circumstances for example way less wind and maybe on a bespoke gun table on a different rest for example you might be able to get even tighter groupings than that the majority of the pellets aside from the flyers or any outrageous ones are under a 50 pence piece. Now at 50 meters, I'm very happy with that. All right, I think that is um, very pleasing in terms of the groups, all right? 
But again, my hope would be that just a normal guy in not ideal circumstances it really proves what this amazing gun is capable of. And it is. I would be very, very pleased if this was in my gun collection. I am not that familiar with FX. I've used a couple in the past, fairly recently, and this is the one that I will be comparing them all to from now on. Um, this is an amazing gun. So if you're interested in this or any of the other guns for sale at Crack Shots in Newton Abbott, their details are in the description of this video. All right. Um, they're very, very friendly, especially Eric and James. And they would love to hear from you. And if you could let them know that you've seen this video, I think that would be really cool. There are some special things planned at Crack Shot in the next couple of months, which I will reveal in future videos. But I just want to plant a little seed here about what's going to be happening soon and how we can all get involved with it. And it's going to be a really good cause that this is all working towards, this little clue there. Um, the final thing that I will do is show you what I can do with this gun stood up shooting. All right, I've never done this before on the on the channel, apart from the, the Polo Mint Challenge with Uta. Um, but the gun is extremely light, surprisingly light, still amazingly good quality, but it's very holdable, if that's a word, uh, when you're stood up shooting, all right? So I just thought I'd finish the video showing you some evidence of me doing it like that. But there you go. This is a fantastic gun. Please contact the guys at Crack Shot for any more information. It will come with a warranty of six months and they can organize an RFD transfer to anywhere in the country. And you also know, I've done some of the work for you, that it groups particularly well with JSB heavies. Thank you. And let's roll the footage of me attempting to shoot stood up. See you soon. Bye-bye. I winged him. Totally missed him. That first one's causing me some trouble. Come on. Come on. Oh, good grief. Okay, that wasn't my finest hour, but um, out of all the rifles I've used recently, this is the most comfortable shooting stood up obviously i need to work on my technique but um it's a fantastic gun let me finish off the magazine see if i can finish on a high note oh that was pretty good there you go fx crown mark ii an amazing gun highly recommended give the boys at crack shot a ring and they'd love to speak to you. See you soon. Bye-bye.